entire student body was utterly grateful for the improvement in their grades. Because fashion and the film reel are the very best of friends. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 iconic fashion moments in movies and TV. Well, girlfriend needs to move a comb through her hair. She has company. For this list, we've looked at fashionable moments for males and females on the big and small screens. Well, you were pointing something that looked like a gun at us, and it wasn't your finger, Cletus. For iconic fashion moments away from TV and the cinema, be sure to check out our alternative countdown, Top 10 Iconic Fashion Moments in Celebrity and Pop Culture. You can, too. Did you ever try? Number 10. Daniel Craig, Skyfall. One can never be too careful when... Handsome men in tuxedos carry walkthroughs. To start, something subtle but seriously stylish. James Bond is a celebrated male fashion icon. Am I uh, properly dressed to the occasion? Quite suitable. But one of the most recent outings might be his most memorable. What exactly are you implying? As if Skyfall wasn't slick enough, the costume design department's decision to dress Daniel Craig in a midnight blue tuxedo was genius. I made my own choices. Okay, so no one expected 007 to mooch into the movie wearing shorts and a tank top, but we weren't expecting this. It's unconventionally classic. Not bad. In some circles, navy blue tuxes are considered even fancier than black tie, and in this case, we'd have to agree. Blue is definitely the new black. Well, first time for everything, yes. Number 9. Olivia Newton-John, Grease. Oh, come on, guys, you know you mean a lot to me. It's just that Sandy does too, on her. It's graduation day at Rydell High, but things are not as they should be. Danny Zuko's come uncharacteristically as a jock. Hey, hey, what is this, Halloween? But an even bigger shock is in store. When Sandy Olsen turns up in tight black leather, the look on John Travolta's face tells the entire story. Sandy? Tell me about it, Stan. As an original good girl gone bad, Olivia Newton-John takes full control at the fair and earns a place in Fashion's Hall of Fame by doing so. Are you sure? Cause Cause I'm I'm sure down deep inside. She's the one that he wants, but we all want a piece of her. Number 8. Diane Keaton, Annie Hall Well, bye. <laughs> To be a fashion icon, you have to be a trendsetter. That's a polite word for what you are. And Diane Keaton was definitely that. I look pretty. Well, yeah, you always look pretty. She was uncool before it was cool to be uncool, which is very hard to do, especially in Hollywood. Annie Hall is a showcase of strange get-ups, and Keaton is the perfect model who takes typically male pieces and makes them work for the women. And I love what you're wearing. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, well, it's, uh, this is, a uh, this tie is a present from Grammy Hall. We're talking big ties, mismatched shirts, and headwear. Lots and lots of headwear. She bucks the trend beautifully and reminds us that there is more than one dress code for life. Bobby, I can't say that that's true at this point in my life. I really just can't say that that's true. Number seven, the series Sex and the City. Hello, lover. Everything about this show is style. Debuting in 1998, the first episode of Sex and the City is an iconic moment in itself. But the six seasons that followed were just as full of beautiful brands, dazzling dresses, handsome handbags, and striking style selections, both good and bad. Oh my god, she's fashion roadkill! Each girl had their unique fashion facade, but Carrie Bradshaw was the woman to watch. Well, that's my department. From daytime tutus to vintage finds to couture gowns and everything in between, this New Yorker expresses herself through style. Carrie, you have to do it. You live for fashion. I do not live for fashion. But all the girls know how to shop, and they know how to show it off, too. Well, that's just fabulous. Number six, Catherine Bach, The Dukes of Hazard. Hey, don't forget we got plans later. Get your cop pick and paws off. Catherine Bach as Daisy Duke isn't just a trendsetter, she's a trend definer. Cut-off denim hot pants are such a staple requirement in any girl's or boy's wardrobe today that it's almost easy to overlook why they're there. There you go, honey. When the Dukes of Hazard hit TV screens at the end of the 70s, there was a lot that caught the viewer's eye. 
but nothing more so than the show's leading lady and her outfit of choice. So much leg, so little fabric. Hey, I'm sorry, but we're not open for lunch, ma'am. It was a look that everyone wanted, and it's a look that everyone still wants. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with old boss's eyes. Number five, Alicia Silverstone, Clueless. Mr. Hall was way harsh. He gave me a C minus. When it comes to fashion, the title of this movie couldn't be further from the truth. So the flannel shirt deal, is that a nod to the crispy Seattle weather or are you just trying to stay warm in front of the refrigerator? Lead actress Alicia Silverstone is either ironically iconic or iconically ironic. Either way, she looks good. Why do you say that it's a bad thing? The 90s rich kid character might not be the model for the masses, but the array of awesome clothes is really quite cool, fiercely feminine, and pretty preppy. I don't get how guys dress today. I mean, come on, it looks like they just fell out of bed and put on some baggy pants and take their greasy hair, ooh, and cover it up with a backwards cap and like, we're expected to swoon? In an era of grunge-inspired duds, a white Calvin Klein number stands out in particular, even if Cher's dad doesn't approve. It looks like underwear. Go upstairs and put something over it. So I was just <laughs> going to. As does the classic canary yellow combination that Silverstone wears to school. Pretty groovy, huh? Number four, Julia Roberts, Pretty Woman. I tell you what, this is fate, Edward. That's what this is. As Olivia Newton-John has already shown, the most fashionable moments in film are sometimes the most surprising. Holy shit! <laughs> In Pretty Woman, Julia Roberts plays a call girl. Hey, Sugar, you looking for a date? And Richard Gere plays her client. The latter has money, the former does not. <laughs> That's right. But Gere's prepared to give Roberts money. Look, I got money to spend in here. And not just in return for sexual favors. Roberts' spending of her newfound wealth on Rodeo Drive is famous, fashionable, and funny all rolled into one. Oh! <laughs> After her makeover, Vivian's the perfect blend of cute and classy. She's turning heads for all the right reasons. Well done! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Number three, Ursula Andress, Dr. No. Underneath the mango tree, my honey and me. Who is that? An iconic fashion moment and one of the most famous scenes in cinematic history, Ursula Andress all but undressed. The desert island setting, the recently awoken Bond, Honey Rider is surely a mirage. What are you doing here? The bikini-clad Bond girl was the first of many, and she's still the most famous. Looking for shells? On screen wearing little, her introduction was most atypical at the time. Captain, what do you think of that? She caused a stylistic stir in 62 that sent bikini sales soaring. Of course, I always do. And we still remember her more than a half century on. Her license to thrill gets her third. I'm getting out when I'm ready, and that's never in daylight. Number two, Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Won't you join me? We head to the high end now, and to a 1960s number that's become instantly recognizable the world over. Hey baby, what's going on here? Audrey Hepburn's little black dress had it all. Elegance, class, style, and sex appeal. What happened to you anyway? You take off for the powder room, and that's the last I see you. Topped off with a tiara, gloves, and cigarette withholder, Hepburn's Givenchy look proved a huge hit then, and it provides a rule of fashion now. Dressed up or dressed down, the LBD is VIP in any wardrobe. And that's all thanks to one of the 20th century's leading ladies. Good night. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. At first I didn't like it very much. I mean, there's nothing really to do with your feet, and there's nothing really to look at. They once had a shooting up in the Klondike. What a lovely dress, Scarlett, darling. India wasn't able to come tonight. Will you be an angel? I do need you to help me receive my guests. Number one, Marilyn Monroe, The Seven Year Itch. Yes, when it's hot like this, you know what I do? I keep my undies in the icebox. An icon in herself, Marilyn Monroe's most memorable moment came while on set for the seven-year itch. It makes you feel goose pimply all over. 
the actress was stood above a subway grate. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? When a gust of wind whipped her William Trevia halter dress up. The resulting photos are etched into fashion history. Monroe's natural cheekiness and charm run parallel to her obvious sex appeal. What happened? She was a lady who led while others followed. And this faintly exhibitionist, definitely iconic image was often imitated but never bettered. Marilyn definitely blows away the competition. Maybe it's over here by this manhole. Miss Monroe, you are fashionably first. I really have to get to sleep. Do you agree with our list? Well, not if you include movies. Which film fashion moment did we forget? Oh, don't bother. For more trendy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, this is torture. Why are you doing this to me?